Hey guys, so in today's video I'm going to show you how to navigate this daily stand-up template that we have made here. So if you're a startup, if you're part of a startup, um, if you're a product manager or anybody who wants to organize one of these daily stand-ups, uh, this template should come in handy. And um, I've filled up a couple of them here, three of them actually, and I'm going to walk you through how to use this. Uh, walk you through the examples and the power-ups, so to speak, that you can stack up when using this specific template. It's not too complex, it's pretty basic, it's not meant to be fantastically complex because um, we're probably going to come up with a pro version as well where we keep stacking all those power-ups, all those things you can start doing with this. But for the time being, uh, I felt like most people need something simple to just get it going. And of course, you, you, you can start easily and then customize yourself or then uh, give, a, give a quick check to the complex version we're going to make and take it from there. So anyway, uh, link is going to be in bio in the description as to how to get this. But this is what it looks like at the moment. So um, let's see, it all starts here. So I'm going to click this, create a stand up for today. And one of the templates is going to come up. I'll walk for you in a second through how to edit that template in case you want to do something crazy brazy. But what happens is every day somebody is going to click this and you just need to drag it some in, in the current day. So I would put it here, but I'll just pretend it's the 26th of October today, just because I'll walk you through in a second uh, through the uh, entries I've already filled up. So let's just pretend that actually let's do this. Fine. Let's just say it's today. So once again, I, I moved it here. And once I click this, I'm going to have a pop up and we'll see the uh, relations we've made right here. So the date is already made because this is why we're doing this dragging and dropping every day. Um, and let's walk through what we've done. I'll come in a second to the properties of the database, so to these entries right here. But if I scroll, uh, this is the usual daily stand-up uh, sort of template. So uh, feel free to write here every day what we learned the day before, what we're working on today. And these are uh, to-dos, which you can mark. And I highly suggest you mark them off as the day goes by. And uh, the usual question of what blockers stand in our way. So this is where either you yourself or somebody else on the team or people collectively on the team are going to uh, go through every day and fill up with information, with your progress, with uh, basically what these say right here. You're going to be able to make more such templates, sorry, more, more such headings in the template in a second where I show that. But Let's, I've, I've added as well some common mistakes to avoid. Feel free to delete these or to improve upon them or to write them from scratch. But I've just added them there so that, you know, when day 49, let's say, comes through and um, maybe it's a day where, you know, it's not so sunny outside and you feel a bit lost, maybe some tips and tricks on how to uh, give you a boost, give you give you a refresh of what a daily stand-up, a proper daily stand-up looks like. I've just added them there so that you can rely upon them. But um, I've added some types, some meeting types right here, depending on how you want to use this. Once again, this is Notion, so uh, I'll keep restating it in every video because it's Notion. The possibilities are endless. You can you can edit, your, and you highly encourage to edit it yourself. I'm trying to give as much as possible out of the box, but. You might not need all of these. So if I don't need weekly sync, I'm just going to go here and delete, or maybe you don't like the color. But um, I'm going to call this a daily sync because we're doing a daily stand up. Um, type of day, you might or might not want to keep this, but um, I, with my team, I like to think of it of uh, this is the point of a stand up to look at the day before and what's ahead of us. So looking at what's ahead of us, we can either have an easy going day. And maybe you want to switch this name, you want to keep it. We like to call it that way. You can be cruising, so it's not too high, not too low. You're just cruising at the same level. Or it can be a challenging day. And let's just be in for the burden today. The challenging day is when we learn the most. This is what I've left for the end of the day. Did we call this a productive day? And I'll just, let's just fast forward at the end of the day. So ideally you should, um, maybe not really, I'm changing my mind, maybe not at the end of the day, 
maybe the next day, whenever you feel like assessing the day. Uh, daily stand-up picture, this is mainly for remote teams or if you're a selfie-driven <laughs> team, if that's a thing, I guess you cannot hear. I'll show you in a second in the examples what happens here. It's a, it's a nice to have. It's like, it doesn't have to be every day. And uh, so maybe I should say optional here, but I'll just keep it like that. Uh, it's some sort of a daily artifact of what what went through, what, how the people were like on that day. And this is where it gets interesting. Colleagues involved. So what I could have done here is the following. I could have added a property and I highly encourage you to do that if and only if you're on the paid Notion plan. So where everybody uh, has the paid plan and you're part of the same team. Now, if you're not, this is for you. So Daniel CH, I've added myself. I don't have anybody else on my team. I'm on personal pro plan, but I don't have anybody else on my team. Uh, you could do this, but what happens if you don't plan to upgrade anytime soon? So let me just delete this thing right here. Cool. Colleagues involved, you're going to see that if I click here, I'm going to have David and Marie. And by the way, quick tip, if you do a click here, that's not the best way to go at it. Okay, I've affected two, but now if I select one person, it just selects that person and that's it. So I selected this. See, Marie is not here anymore. So what I suggest is clicking and hovering until you see the plus. Where's the, there we go. Click the plus and just the plus. So I've added David and Marie. Uh, David is my brother. Marie uh, doesn't exist, but she, she can exist for the purpose of this video. I haven't added myself, but I guess I could add myself. So I've added them two here. Now, uh, what happens is I've created another database and you don't have to figure any of this out. I'm just letting you know what happens. I've created a database. I'll walk you through in a second. Uh, as to how to add people in the database. I've created a database where I've created profiles, so to speak, for these people. And they have a picture. And you're going to be able to do some nice stuff in there as well. are going to have some very basic stats. And the sky's the limit. Once again, this is Notion. Let me just finish here. So teams involved. This happens automatically. So Marie is on the product team. David is on the marketing team. But because, and this is why I may suggest, if you don't, want to keep it fantastically simple. If you want to keep it fantastically simple, go with what I said if you're on the paid plan. Add a property, or add property, what I've just done now. Add a property with the people. But I highly suggest going this way even if you're on a paid plan. And I guess you could use tagging if something happens in a comment. Anyway, because of some inbuilt features. So I didn't have to click and select myself, although I could do that product and marketing. But because these two people are from these two teams. That's what happens. They automatically add it there. So if I remove David, who's in marketing, we've only got product here. Let's go in another day's daily stand up right here. I've only had Marie, only Marie showed up for this daily stand up. And it was a challenging day. So uh, fingers crossed for Marie. Only product comes up here, which is beautiful. Now, let me show you that if you scroll down right here, besides the cheekily placed ad from symbol.inc, in MISC, I've got these colleagues drop down. So I've got David and Marie, and I can add myself, let's say, so Daniel CH. Now, if you're asking how do I add a picture, I'm going to open it, and I'll just give myself an emoji to keep it simple. I don't want to look through a picture now. So I look like um, a sunflower today. That's what I feel like. And that's all you, all you need to do here. Oh no, that's all you need to do regarding the title. I also need to put myself into a team. So I'll just put myself into customer support. Let's say that's it. Now something nice comes up here. How many standups has this person been in? Have, how many stand have they participated in? So we have a live count on how many standups this person has participated in. So if I put David in this in this grueling day where Marie was just going through the stuff, uh, David just comes and was actually there. Does it work like this? Yes, it does. So David was here. We got product and marketing in a second, in a second. And now David has been in two 
daily standards. So as time goes by, you can keep track of how many people have been going through uh, the daily standups. I like to take a, a small break, small pause to ask you, what else you'd like to see in this list of colleagues where you have people? What other counts? What other metrics? What other whatever you'd like to see? So I'm going to close this now. And um, I think that's a nice thing to stack up as time goes by. But what else? So I've promised you I'm going to show you what it looks like when um, that picture. There we go. So this picture right here, when that daily stand-up picture is shown, this is what it would look like. And I think it's it's cute. Again, it doesn't have to be every day, but it's a nice thing to keep, keep going. And um, yeah, the beautiful... Uh, view of the pictures you won't see them here although I guess you could so if I click let me take it slower if I hover here dot 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 and I click properties I can enable some things to be shown here so was it a productive day boom that's nice this this looks very nice if it's all ticked uh, I can see the teams involved I can stack them up of course let's see how the picture looks like I haven't checked this Right, it's small there, but it, it draws you in. It, it especially if people are smiling and they're having a good time at the beginning of the day or at the end, if you're if the company is doing its job, uh, it draws you in to see a bunch of happy people. I can see the colleagues involved. Yeah. Anyway, let's take the picture out. Yeah, this looks pretty neat, I would say. But I might also so this is the calendar, and by default we're starting with the calendar, but I can see it as a list. See the picture draws me in again. I can see the teams again. Um, I can see it as a table. This gets a tiny bit messy, but you might want to do your thing here. Now, the last thing I wanted to show is this is why I've added the list view. So that if at one point you're sitting down and you're saying, um, I want to see the footprint of the teams, you're going to come here to list. And what you want to do is you want to click dot, dot, dot and put in a filter now. I'm adding a filter and I want to see only the proc team. I'm thinking, what the hell has the proc team done? Are they even uh, coming up to, to, are they even participating in the daily stand up? So teams involved, leave it as it is. And I'm picking what is it? product. There we go. So it looks like proc team has been in everything. Um, bad filter. Let me check marketing. And there you go. The one daily standard. Now, in my case, because I'm showing this mock, I've only got three entries. But uh, you can see how out of three, we only got two now. And of course, as as time goes by, you're going to have more and more entries. And these filters will, will, will work in different ways. Um, let me see. What else can I show you? Oh, yeah. Um, sorting might be important. So by default, this must be sorted by... Um, not name ascending, date descending. So we have the latest day up there. But maybe you want to sort them by, show me just the productive days. So I'm going to go here, choose productive day, and do, let's see, is it descending? Oh, wait, first I need to make it visible as a property. Productive day. There we go. So I'm only seeing the productive days up here. And then I can go and skim through them and say, okay, this, 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 and this, right. Let me look at the days that we, where we were productive to see maybe if I go through the daily standups, I can find a pattern and there you go. You found another thing that you can improve in your company, in your processes, in your whatever. Obviously these filters can apply everywhere uh, <laughs> as long as Notion allows it. So uh, this is the end of, of what I've made here. I think it's pretty neat having this colleagues thing. Um, I think it's pretty simple, but pretty powerful that, uh, you know, as time goes by, you're gonna have these things accumulated and the sorting and the filtering can, can, and this is really the point of it, can allow you to have a bird's eye view uh, as to what happens in the company and in your daily standups. I hope this helps. Please take a moment to let me know in the comments especially if you've duplicated this and you've started using it. Uh, I would highly appreciate if you could let me know what other things you'd like to track. Because as I said, I plan to either do an update version of this video in a few months time or whatever. 
and perhaps if it's required if it's asked by people a more complex daily stand-up for the time being this should get you going and as you go through it you you get ideas and you probably think one day oh let me tell daniel that i'm needing this 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 and this but i'm not using that at all so i'm just suggesting that uh, he can take it off anyway that's that's the daily stand-up hope it helps give us a give us a, a check check out our website simple link like subscribe blah 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 have a lovely day